Carlton Collins always wanted to keep it in the family. After he passed, his son, Charleston, took over his barbershop here on 309 South Krause Avenue. And now Charleston's son, Tyson, is set to inherit this place. Only now it's switched locations over here at a 2704 Erie Boulevard East. But although the scenery has changed, that same sense of family still stays here. It hasn't been cut, shaved, or even slightly trimmed. Charleston Collins has worked at Collins Barber and Beauty Shop for just over 55 years. But it's not like his father, Carlton, gave him much of a choice anyway. I was, uh, I, I ran from it for a long, long time. And then I found myself uh, out of a job, just quit a job and laying back at my parents' house. And my father was on his way to work and he said, come on and go with me. And so Charleston went, joining his brothers Eric and Terrence, who also cut hair. But surprisingly, the shop fell to the youngest son. Charleston after dad's passing. While on 309 South Krause Avenue, the shop was a historic site where the community hung out. It wasn't just a place to get a fresh cut to, you know, deal with the girls that weekend, you know what I'm saying? But it was also a place to be around family. It's all about where a person likes to go. We try to make our place as comfortable as possible where anybody can come in. Grandma can bring her kids or young lady can bring her kids in and be comfortable. Mm. You know, any, we want everybody and every, anybody to be comfortable. Yeah. Eric Winfrey has found comfort at Collins since he was about nine years old. Before Charleston cut his hair, he remembers watching Carlton cut his dad's. As a child, Winfrey loved listening to the dialogue in the shop. Politics, religion, you know, relationships, sports, you name it, they, they debated over it. <laughs> and half a century later, despite having barely anything left to cut, Eric still finds himself in Charleston's chair. Fortunate to have a legitimate real barbershop like that in the city, you know. And um, I'm going to keep coming until yeah. I can't. Carlton always said the barbershop was a place for people to come in, sit down, and forget the craziness of the outside world. Charleston's done his best to achieve that, and soon, Tyson will follow. In Syracuse, New York, for NCC News, I'm Tyler Schiff.